And let me tell you a very interesting little scenario that you may or may not want to investigate. I'm a client. Look, I'm a client. And we have a server. Boink. He's my DHCP server. Why do we have DHCP? Obviously you know that. I'm not going to bug you with that one. So I turn my machine on in the morning. I need an IP address. We're on the same hub. Let's do that first. Does everything work OK? Can we talk? Yes? Everything works? Yes? Yes, it does. I've got you all paranoid now. <laughs> so, so we're OK, right, on a hub. OK, let's get a switch. Got a switch, same VLAN, same chassis, same card, everything's cool, port one, port two, turn on my machine. Does that work? Yes? Good. OK, now, you're on that switch, and I'm on this switch. And we plug the switches in with a crossover cable. Everything's still cool? Yeah? All right. I'm on VLAN 1. You're on VLAN 2. Can we communicate to? Oh, all right. We're on islands now. So we have something to connect us. How do you guys do that when you have different VLANs? OK, so in the middle here, we got our routing module, right? And he allows stuff to go back and forth. So now, will everything work? No, no, yes. Pardon? DHCP4 read has a All right. Did I say that? No. Uh, so will it work? No. All right. And this is the joy of, of, of my job right now, is just getting that yes or no out of you. The, it depends, and all the details is not relevant right now. But by default, it just doesn't work. So then we do what, Adrian? DHCP forwarding. All right. So DHCP forwarding, IP helper addresses, UDP flooding, whatever you want to call it. Right? Everybody's got cool terms for it. And it's going to take my DHCP packets, and it's going to just take every single one of them and sniper them over to this DHCP server. And now will it work? Yes. It will, right? Now, the unfortunate thing is, is my machine sending out a bunch of other different types of broadcasts? What do you think? Even if you don't know, what do you think? Yes. All right. And I'm a Microsoft workstation. Now what do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you always just put that word in. Oh, yeah. So now I take all my Microsoft broadcasts, and my DHCP server happens to be an HP 9000 running HP Unix version blah, blah, whatever. So now I'm taking all my NetBIOS, and I'm coming up to this guy. Bing, 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 bing. So what's the server going to say? Does he understand NetBIOS? <laughs> Look at Adrian. He's like this. <laughs> That's what the server does. <laughs> Server doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. And the server sends back a whole bunch of ICMP error messages saying, port unreachable, port unreachable, port unreachable, port un I was at a place where they had these helper addresses on every single interface across the entire corporation. That poor DHCP server was so busy, he could not even hand out an IP address. He was getting 7,000 broadcasts per second at its low tide. <coughs> Nonstop. Poor guy, man. You understand? So something, and again, all this just from one packet. We got all this just from one packet. Would you see this on a boot up? Of course you would, because you'd say, DHCP, give me an address. You'd get an address back, and then you see a Microsoft broadcast go out, and you see the server, the DHCP server, come back and say, port not reachable. What's up with that? And if it's happening with one, it's happening with 7,000 people, isn't it? <coughs> okay. If you do a baseline correctly, I kid you not, you will end up fixing something. Trust me, you'll do a baseline, you go, what is that? And you'll go look into it, investigate it, you'll come up with something to fix. Cool, huh? What a bonus. Big game hunting and you didn't even know you had a gun.